I this is the the part that I'm most excited about. You know, I, I'm so excited about you know our tools and and just I just fucking exude like passion and I I want to win and everything else and like I want our team to win and so but I think for you to kind of understand the the context uh, <laughs> behind uh, Jenga effects that everybody should kind of know uh, the story. So yeah, um, basically the the story. So I'm gonna focus in. Take a deep breath because this is a lot. A lot of it's going to be, you know, fairly vulnerable. Um, and so hopefully I can convey, you know, uh, I guess acting different. You know, I, I'll i just, you know, come up with it. I fucking hate the way other companies, you know, act. You know, whether it's in our industry or not, that doesn't really matter. But I don't feel like people, you know, care about their customers. I don't feel like, you know, people care about putting... Uh, good products out there and and changing people's lives and you know really making a difference and just all this other stuff and I feel like there's so much and, and by the way there's going to be profanity in this so if you don't like profanity I'm sorry but this is it's just it's who I am and so you know I want to be real with y'all and the thing is it's like yeah you know I'm a CEO and I have to manage my image and and all this other stuff but at the same time like I just, I want to tell, tell the truth, you know, um, there's just a lot of bullshit out there and I want to be one of the few companies and one of the few people and whatever that just cut through it and tell it like it is. If we're on hard times, which, you know, we kind of have been recently, like, I want to say that, like, I want to be able to tell you that like, you know, we're, we're like some things, you know, aren't going good or some things are going really good or, or whatever the heck is going on. And so, you know, I just, I want to be transparent. I want to show you that your money goes to good use. I want to give you a good product. And so, you know, and then somebody talked about like selling out and, and all this other stuff. And I've kind of got some stuff that I'm going to, you know, tell you guys about some of that kind of thing too. And, and tell you about getting, you know, really sick and, and things like that after some stuff that happened. And so, yeah, this is going to be, you know, quite the, the story time. So anyway, um, you know, Jenga FX started on my birthday in 2016. Uh, in 2006, I started learning to mod games. Uh, so, you know, a mod is a, a modification for an existing game, and I was modding Half-Life 2. I ended up joining some really big modding teams, like the, the No More Room in Hell team, um, I, and it, it changed my life uh, and really helped me learn, you know, how... Uh, you know, games work and how to do visual effects and, and all this other stuff. And, and my passion lies, you know, in games. And, and you know, during that time, uh, and actually in 2007, uh, Valve, which, you know, I've, I've talked to now and, and kind of talked to the people who made the particle editor for, for Half-Life and stuff. And, um, you know, it's kind of come full circle, you know. Uh, they're, they're really, you know, like my heroes because they showed me that, you know, visual effects could be fun and it could be real time and, and it's really what inspired me. And, you know, I'm really thankful for, you know, I, I highly doubt that Scott would be watching the, the stream, but I believe he's the one who programmed this uh, over at Valve. And, you know, uh, he's, he's kind of my, my hero. And so, um, you know, I, I really, you know, I appreciate Valve releasing their tool set because, like I said, it, it changed my, my whole life. Um, and, and it showed me that things could be real time, even though it was just, you know, uh, 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 what do you call it? Some, um, you know, some, some sprites and some particles or whatever. But I remember uh, at the time you could do 10,000 sprites in the source engine or, or 10,000 particles and, and they, they could have these force fields and stuff. And I was just blown away. I was like, Oh my God, 10,000 particles. That's just insane. Think how many sparks I can have. I wanted to go all out for, for our mods and stuff like that for half-life and, and for no more room in hell, which was a zombie game that we were, were doing. It was a total conversion. And so anyway, so, so during my time, uh, working on that, I tried some, uh, some, some fluid sim, uh, packages to, to make my own stuff. Cause valve, they had their texture library that they provided with it. And I was like, man, I really want to learn to make my own textures. And, and you know, your story might be the same if, if you've used other packages out there where it's like you, you wait for 12 hours, you know, for the sim. And then it was 24 hours to render back then. And, and it just crashed and blue screens and just so much garbage. And my computer was unusable. And I'm like, man, like, I really want to make some cool animated textures. I want realistic explosions. I want realistic fire and all this stuff. 
And like, you know, back then, you know, you didn't have any of these crazy fancy shaders where you can like do erosion and, and all this other stuff. It just didn't really exist in the source engine. And so like you had to rely on flip books and stuff. And I just, I couldn't get them. I just couldn't get them. And I remember spending, you know, two or three weeks on a little explosion texture. And I mean, I crashed so many times and I was so frustrated and angry and just whatever. I'm like, man, why is this, why is this so inaccessible? Why, why is this bullshit? You know, why, why can't this be real time like sources particle engine that can do 10,000 particles? Well, why, why does it have to be this way? And it's that naivety, you know, being naive that really propelled me forward to be able to build Jenga effects because whenever, you know, we were building this, I can't tell you how many people told me, you know, Nick, this isn't possible. We can't do this thing in real time because GPUs aren't ready and, and you know, uh, if we could do it, we would have done it and just all this other stuff. And I'm like, you know what? Like, you're wrong. And I'm going to prove to you that you're wrong. And we're going to make it happen because it's just like, I, I have to make it happen. Because if it doesn't happen... I'm never going to have flipbooks. I'm never going to have, uh, you know, uh, uh, cool simulations and, and all this other stuff. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm never going to have it. If it's not real time, I'm never going to wait 12 hours, you know? Fuck that. Like, it's just, it's not happening. And so, you know, uh, in 2012, this is really when I was frustrated. And, and, and I, I went off for, you know, a couple years and, and I was working in, a, uh, a factory. I'd worked at McDonald's. I'd worked in a boat shop. I worked for UPS delivering packages. Uh, I also did uh, car hauling uh, with a, with a family friend. Um, and so, like, I, I was out there, you know, in the freezing cold and and all this other stuff, working really hard jobs and 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 getting rained on and snowed on and all this other stuff. And and I just I, I hated it, you know. I, I absolutely hated it. And I knew that I wanted to start a business and. And, and I really wanted to do something with visual effects, but I wasn't ready yet. And so I joined a couple of startups and, and I ended up quitting my factory job that I had uh, working uh, as a machinist. And so I learned how to, you know, program CNC machines and, and all kinds of stuff. And so, you know, I have a lot of, you know, other skills, you know, outside of this that were, were really helpful from those jobs. But, you know, I just, I, I really didn't, just really didn't like it. And it wasn't my calling. And I knew that I wanted to do something with visual effects. And then with my family, you know, uh, if they're watching, I'm sorry, but it's like, you know, with my family, they didn't understand, you know, why I would do something with visual effects or games. And, and they told me that I was wasting my time and that I should get a real job and all this other stuff. And I, I just fucking hated my job. I, I hated it and it, it sucked and, you know, it was dangerous and just all this other stuff. And they, they just, they didn't support it. And so, you know, and then I'm like, you know, I want to start a business and they didn't support that either. Oh, you need to go to school and all this other stuff. And, and I ended up dropping out of school um, because it just, it wasn't for me. I, I, I couldn't do it and, and, and whatever else. So, you know, it just, uh, it was, it was just, you know, bad. And so, um, you know, and I didn't feel like I had a lot of the, the support that I, that I wanted and needed. Um, and so, but anyway, you know, I moved to New Mexico on my own and, uh, you know, met up with somebody uh, online and, and, you know, joined a couple of startups and learned a lot. And then in 2016, uh, I figured I was ready to, to start Jenga FX. And so, um, you know, I went right at it. And, and on my birthday, November 12th, uh, right, that's my birthday, it's coming up. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I started November 12th, 2016. I secured the domain back in March. Uh, of 2016 and and I'd had the idea for Embergen since like 2012 so it's been 10 years now that I've wanted to do this kind of thing and um, you know I just I, I I I had to do it and so I started with something called Vector Agen <laughs> most people here probably don't use it but it's a, a vector field tool um, and so yeah, uh, it basically makes you know a, a 3D array of vectors and you can import it into Unreal Engine and, and that kind of thing um, and, and I built the first version myself and it was really complicated and I actually saw, uh, I believe Geoff Eep in the chat, uh, thanks to him. And I, I, I met up with him in, uh, Vancouver, uh, at SIGGRAPH actually, and I'm thankful for it. Thanks to him. He gave me the first piece of code that I needed to write to a file and like without his help, 
and, and just like helping me out because he had a vector field plugin for Unreal as well. Like without his help, I wouldn't have even known where to start. And like I didn't know how to code or, or anything. And like all I had was a C++ book. And and uh, you know I knew that I needed help, and I eventually found help. And, uh, you know, that partnership didn't work out, but we kind of had an alpha version of, of Vector Region, uh, you know, uh, come out. And I believe that was in May 2017. And we started to uh, sell uh, 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 Vector Region. And, and it went pretty well. Um, yeah. So I said, oh, well, starting with C++. Yeah, I, I did start with C++. And, you know, it's just... It, you know, Vector Agent, it, it, it really taught me how to sell software. It taught us, you know, how to build software and so on and so forth. Um, and, and the person that I had found, uh, they ended up, you know, quitting and, and leaving and, and they didn't want to work with me or whatever. And so I was I was left alone um, and I ended up contacting uh, Morton, which is our co-founder now in, in February of 2017, I believe. And, and I, I met him on Discord, um, you know. And so, yeah, and so there's Geoff in the, in the, in the chat. Um, and so, you know, really thanks to him and, and thanks to the people at Valve for inspiring me as well, you know, because without that, I never would have done it. I also want to call somebody else out, uh, Alex Underhill. I'm not sure if, if he's on the stream or not, but he made Slate Effects and, and he, he taught me, you know, kind of how to do payment processing and, and all kinds of other stuff. And, and I'm really thankful for, for their help as well um, and, and answering my questions and, um, I also saw uh, Josh Davies on here from from Hit Film and and whatever on here too and and he's helped me out with with various things and and kind of you know help support me and inspire me. Um, I'd also like to thank like the people at Action VFX like they're they're fucking awesome and and it's like there's such a, a a nice good community of you know CEOs like in our space that like I kind of you know mentioned and and they just like they're they're so so awesome and and like i'm so like thankful for all of it and i don't i don't want to cry but it's just it's fucking cool and i'm thankful for it and so you know and, and this is the part that i'm going to get into you know telling oh, i feel stupid <laughs> but it's like this is this is really hard okay like oh Jenga fix is the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh, it's so hard. Like this shit, it's just, it's fucking difficult. You know, it's like, I, and so like, I'm kind of like skipping around because like, I want to talk about my team and like how amazing they are and all this other stuff. And it's like, you know, it's just, it's so, so cool. And like, you know, I, I want to win. <laughs> I want to win. Like, I'm so tired of shit software. I'm so tired of, like, companies treating people like shit or treating their employees like shit and <laughs> just everything else. I'm tired of it, you know, and, like, game studios doing crunch and, like, all this other stuff. It fucking sucks. It sucks. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> You know, and I'm just like, damn, you know, and like, it's just so difficult. And like, you know, part of my story of starting Jenga Effects is I went to GDC in 2019 and I, I met some people that I kind of considered my heroes. They, they had built some really cool software and I, I had a, a cracked iPad that shows you how much on a budget we were. You know, I had a cracked iPad and our, our guy, Gil, we had just brought him on, and he had something kind of like Embergen, and it was real time, and, and I wanted to show them this thing. And um, <laughs> and it, it, it hurt a lot what they told me. They told me, they said, you know what? They said, you know, you're not, you're not even like a competitor in this space, and, you know, you're kind of wasting your time because real time, it's not the future. And, like, that hurt a lot. And I said, man, I went home or to my hotel room and I said, man, I'm going to fuck y'all up <laughs> because I want to take every single one of their customers because I want a company that like helps build other people up. And it's just, I don't know, man, like it hurt a lot, you know, and I've still had, you know, stuff like that. 
like as we build this stuff, people they just don't they just don't care, you know, or they don't realize. And like I don't know if those people if they meant that to say that or if they meant it like that or whatever. But it just it just sucked. It just sucked, <laughs> you know. It just sucked. And so um, so anyway, you know that's that's my motivation. There's a lot of anger and and whatever else, but damn it, you know. I'm going to win and I'm proving that real time is the future and that we can do it and that it can have the fidelity and, and everything else. And so, you know, uh, you know, kind of continuing on, you know, uh, Morton on our team, he kind of thought that he was a scam whenever I reached out to him, uh, to help me out with, with Embergen and, um, you know, and, and thank you for the donation. That's the first one we've ever got on our stream. Um, you know, you don't have to do that, but, um, you know, just pay for our software basically. Um, you know, but it's just like, it's just, it's crazy what, what the story is. And, um, you know, uh, another thing that happened is, um, you know, uh, during the, the time of, you know, around that time, um, I, I was married at the time and, and ended up getting, you know, divorced and whatever, um, partially because of working on the business and I was working at Funcom. I'd also like to thank Funcom. They knew that I was starting a business and they knew that I was going to come in and eventually leave and they let me do it. And they, they let me and like, they didn't try and claim ownership of my work or anything like that. And, you know, I helped them out with visual effects and like, they gave me like my stint professionally in the industry. And I just, I really appreciated it. And, you know, now they're, now they're a customer of ours and, and it's just awesome. And like, I'm so thankful for, for Funcom. If, if anybody, you know, wants a good company to work at in the game industry, go work at Funcom. They're working on some good stuff with Dune and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just awesome. And so, um, so yeah, you know, it's just, it's just really cool. You know, kind of the support that we've gotten in that way. And so, um, you know, with, with Vector Rage in, it, it didn't work out. And, you know, one of our, our, our big breaks that we ended up having was we, and I don't think I can say with who, but we, we got a contract uh, here in the game industry and we, we did some programming work for them. And uh, they, they paid us really good so that, you know, I could work my day job and so that they could, um, you know, work. Uh, so I could pay Morton as well, you know, a full-time salary and, and, you know, we did kind of <laughs> do some crunch on, on mine and Morton's part, uh, but we, we try not to do any of that now, um, you know, on or in. But that's just, just honestly how it was, you know, at the time. And, and you know, I've changed a lot of my, my thoughts on, on how a lot of this stuff works. But at the time, you know, I felt like it was necessary and, and it's just it's the situation we were in um, because we had contractual obligations. But, but anyway, you know, um, me and Morton have been, you know, uh, uh, well paid for for our endeavors so um but but you know that that's just how it is with business um but anyway um you know it's just it's you know we i'm really thankful for for those and and if they're on the stream like i don't want to say it because contracts and stuff but you know that they, they helped us out and 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 kind of secured us a contract and and helped us you know financially we put in work and and you know, rendered a service, but it, it was really good. And, and like, that was, you know, a, a lot of stuff and, and, you know, building Embergen was, was difficult. Um, and I quit my job in 2019 and, uh, you know, it's just like, that was scary for me. You know, I, I was working on Jenga FX full time and, uh, you know, prior to that it, from 2016 to like May, 2017. And like, I had maxed out my credit cards. I missed my rent. Like I put every single penny that I had into this company and, and I mean I didn't even have money to pay rent anymore and so I had to move to North Carolina and, and go work at Funcom and it's just it's just you know it, it's crazy um and so yeah so we started Embergen Dev in late 2018 uh we ended up releasing uh November 2019 and actually you know the reason we released is because we were going to run out of money again um Vector Agent sales tanked like the week that I quit my job and like we needed that money to keep going along with our contract that we had and it, it it didn't it just didn't work and like I was so scared and and I didn't know what to do and and you know so we just and, and luckily we had like built a list of emails and and then we we 
what do you call it? We, <laughs> we sent an email saying that we were releasing Emergen as an alpha. And, and, you know, I'm so thankful that we did that because the support was amazing, you know, and, and like, it's not a lot of money now, but like, to me, it was everything. We made like $6,000 in like two hours or something like that. And I was like, oh my God, finally, like I'm saved. Like, we're not going to be in debt. Like, we're not going to lose money. Like, I don't have to like worry about, you know, that I quit my job and like have to go back to work and be embarrassed or whatever and like all this other stuff. And like our gamble paid off and it's just, it was just crazy. Um, and so, you know, it, it was just, yeah, it was just crazy. And, you know, I like, I, I'm really thankful that, you know, Embergen <laughs> worked out for us. It was, it was crazy, um, you know, at that time. And so, you know, moving through like 2020, um, you know, that was, that was a good year for us, you know, it, despite COVID happening and, and everything else, like we, we really started expanding our team and, and things like that. And it just, it was, it was crazy. And, you know, like that was really like the year where we started being on the map and, and, you know, that's whenever I read that comment where, you know, the devil's in the details and, and Emergen has none. And one of the crazy things was, was at that time, we had to fight against people thinking that our software wasn't real because no one had ever seen the, a simulator and a, a renderer in the same package for, for fluid sims and stuff like that. And, and, and like now it's just, you know, commonplace. Well, I guess again, our software it is because that's just, just, just how it was. And, you know, it, it, it's, yeah, so Perry said, you know, I'm so thankful, and which actually, you know, thank you, Perry. Like, I know you've been, you know, a, a supporter of ours for years. As far as I remember, you were one of our, our first customers. And it's like, I, I still remember, like, some of our, our customers, you know, names and stuff like that. And, like, we have th many thousands of customers at this point. And it's just, it's just crazy. Um, and, and it's it's just so insane to see like the progress that we've made, you know, on Embergen. And so, you know, this this kind of gets into like some of the, the next stuff of, you know, uh, 2020 is whenever we we ended up, you know, partnering with Otoy and stuff like that. And, and that ended up, you know, giving us a, a bit more money to work with and, and expand stuff because, you know, they wanted to, to license the software and offer it in their package and stuff like that. And I can't really go too much into the details of that, but... And that's what happened. And, um, you know, that's just, just how things, how things were. Um, and, and so like, I'm really thankful that, that that happened as well. Um, and so I'm just kind of like looking through my notes here. Um, you know, and so in 2020 was, was a tough year for me. That's, that's whenever I ended up getting divorced and, and like, I, I ended up feeling, you know, really guilty because I, I thought that, you know, the business had, had killed my marriage and, you know, I found out, you know, afterwards that that wasn't necessarily the case, you know, directly. And like, I won't really speak to what the reasoning was, but, you know, like that, that hurt me for a long time. And, and I thought that that's, you know, kind of was like the demise of it. And I was like, you know, man, like if this is like, if this is the cost of business, then, then like, I don't want it, you know, but, you know, I, 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 I you know, talk to friends and I have a really good support group now. And like they told me, you know, that that's just not the case, you know, you know, you, you can have a partner or, or a life partner or whatever, you know, that will support your endeavors and they will understand, you know, why you, you work as hard as you do or why you might have to travel or, or whatever and it, it not be a problem. And so, you know, that was, that was tough for me. Um, but in, in 2020, you know, uh, uh, we made close to, you know, a million dollars in revenue and, and we went from nearly nothing, pennies in 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 2019 you know and then like launching Embergen like on a thing and then then 2020 and you know uh, 2020 was such a good year because then we could finally like pay our team you know well and stuff like that and 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 you know at our company we have a a minimum rep or our minimum salary of eighty thousand dollars it doesn't matter what you do like so, you know, we have a customer support person, Will, and like, you know, I don't, I guess, anyway, so customer support, like even they make that much, you know, and it's just like, I want people to be well paid because people, like, it doesn't matter where you are in our company, like you matter. 
Like, your skills are just as valuable on one end as our best programmers or whatever. And all of our programmers are <laughs> fucking amazing. I mean, look at the stuff that we put out. And so I just, you know, we, we wanted to pay well. And, like, that's my thing. And it's like, sure, I could, you know, squeeze the profits and cut the salaries and all this stuff and, like, just put money in my pocket and, and all this other stuff. And it's like, I just, I don't know why. Right? I, I don't know why. Like I, I like I run a business for profit. And like that's the truth. I want to make a profit. I want to make money. I want to be financially free and all this other stuff. Like and, and like I kinda have that now with Jenga effects, thankfully. You know, but at the same time, like I don't want that like I don't want to have that at the expense of my employees and and through like the salaries that we pay and all this other stuff, like we, like, like I think like six people on our team, like they've been able to buy like their first house, and you know, like people have bought like their dream cars and stuff like that because of, you know how we pay, and like that's just so fucking cool that like we're able to you know help that happen, you know, and like I I really I, I really like that and like. I love my team to death. You know, I love them to death. And it's like, I care so much about them. You know, I just, I care so much. It's like, like, not only do like, I want to win, but like, they want to fucking win. We all want to win. Like, I want this to be like the greatest fucking company, like on earth that you could ever work for. I have my team tell me, Nick, this is a dream job. I'm so thankful for this. Like, it's just, it's, it's awesome. It's so cool. And like, I'm so happy that I get to be a part of it. And that like, my team gets to be a part of it. Like, like, fuck, like, do I care? And it's like, I try and share, like, I care. And it's like, not only that, but like, they have families and stuff. Like, we have to pay them well. You know, like, and like, it's like, you have unlimited vacation you can take vacation anytime you want at our company it doesn't matter if you need time off great if you want to work four hour, four days a week great as long as we get our cycle done you know i don't care right it's just it's just so freaking so cool that like i get the opportunity and like it's unfortunate that i only get to change the lives of 16 other people and not 500 or a thousand but maybe one day we'll get there Maybe one day we will. And, like, I fucking hope so. Like, <laughs> my thing is, is it's like, uh, you know, I, I want to buy Adobe. <laughs> like, uh, you know, screw anybody buying me. And so, like, that brings me to, to 2021. You know, I, I can't say with who or whatever or how much or, or anything. But, you know, we, you know, we got a, a buyout offer. And, I mean, it was, it was more money than I, I ever knew what to do with. I could never spend it in my whole fucking life. Like, if and if we spread it across the team, they could probably never spend it. It's just like... Like, you know, we've been offered that. And the thing is, is... Like, I turned it down. And the the reason I turned it down was because I felt like if if I took that that I would be losing and I can't fucking lose. Like I'm not going to, this has been too hard. It's been too hard to just take it. And like, it doesn't mean that like I would never take it. If the money's right, then damn it. Like I might, but like, I just, I couldn't take it. And like, after I made that decision, I got so sick. Like I ended up getting pneumonia and stuff, because it was so fucking stressful, and, like, you know, my family, he basically told me, they said, Nick, like, are you fucking stupid, and I'm like, no, I'm not, I just, I want to win, like, if, if I do this, it, I lose control, and I can't, I can't live out what my destiny is, my destiny, my team's destiny, what we want to do, you know, and, like, that's what I want, you know, what we want to do. And so it's just like, ah, you know, and I just, you know, and I'm like, sure, like there could be stipulations or whatever where, 
you know, we could do, you know, whatever we want or, or whatever. Maybe that money could have helped us or all this other stuff. But I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I just, like, it was hard. It was hard to, to turn it down, but it just, it was what it was. Um, and so, you know, but by 2020, we had 15 employees. Um, and, and by this point, like we had generated, you know, a few million in revenue and like that, it was just amazing to me. It was amazing to me because that gives us like the freedom that we need to like live our own destiny. And like, it proves that like we're providing value to, to everybody else. You know, I, I, you know, I am a capitalist person. I, I like capitalism. I don't necessarily like the way that we, that we do things or like as a society with capitalism, with, you know, lobbying and stuff like that. But like capitalism as a whole, like I like it, you know, I think that it, it does inspire competition and stuff like that. And, you know, I just, I, I, you know, I, yeah, you know, I want to win and, and, you know, the proof that like we've made this much and that I get so many good emails and stuff like that, you know, uh, of our customers. And like, that's the thing, you know, I talk about caring about our team. Like I also care about like everybody in the chat and everybody who's ever purchased our software and whatever, because like they, they help make like the dream real. And like, I want to change like their lives too, you know? And it's just like, it's just crazy. You know, it's just crazy. And, um, you know, I, I'm really thankful for all the support, you know, I'm really thankful for all the support and it's, it's just awesome, you know, like, so here's like some sage advice, you know, I guess, or, or from my experience, if, if somebody does want to start something one day, if it's, you know, visual effects related or some other company or whatever, you know, it's, um, you know, manage your expectations, you know, it's, it's a really hard journey. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Running a, a company like this is not, it's not easy and it's stressful and sometimes it sucks and, you know, and you just have to wake up every day and you, you just keep going. And, and a lot of people, they don't understand that and, and that's okay, you know, but, but it is really tough, you know, at, like, at least like on, on me, because it's like, man, you know, we, we have to, to make sure that we have enough revenue to, you know, pay for, you know, people's mortgages and rent and, and like feed their families and like all this stuff. And, and like, when I think about it, it is, it's difficult to, to like have that on you, but I can take it, you know, I can handle it and I will handle it and I keep handling it and, and I'm going to. Um, and so, so anyway, you know, if you start something, manage your expectations and start small. Just try and make a dollar. That's why we released Vector Region first and not my big idea. Because I just, I wanted to, I just wanted to see how to do it. And like, I didn't know what I was doing. I had no fucking clue how to build software or how to program hardly or anything. I just, I had a dream and, and I made it happen. You know, and then, you know, if you also start something and you're like, man, I'm going to make $10,000 a month right off the bat, you're probably not. You might make like $10 a month. That's what happened with us. You know, it's, it's tough. Um, and then, um, you know, uh, I, I want to talk about like just some, some things about like, like how I, how I think about business stuff, you know, like I want to talk about two things like social engineering traps and you know motivation and so there's two big social uh engineering traps in society and it's can't and but i you know i can't do that thing well because you said you can't well no you can't i i can't learn visual effects you know or or whatever you know well you can do those things, right? It's just, do you want to? You know, if somebody says, you know, hey, you know, Nick, do you do you want to come over and bake a pizza? Um, well, uh, you know, uh, sure. You know, I can come, you know, uh, over and, and help you roll the dough and put the sauce on and all the other stuff and bake a pizza. 
Um, you know, but I, I can't. I can't. I can't is the polite way to say I don't want to. It's the polite way to say I don't want to. You know, but the thing is, it's like the semantics, they matter. You start to think that, you know, I can't do all of these small things. And then whenever you have a big dream like that, that I can't mentality for saying it for everything, uh, just to be polite and stuff like that, it, it suppresses, you know, your, your ability and, and your self-confidence. And so then like, you know, motivation, you know, ah, I really want to do this thing but I'm not motivated, but I really want to do it. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, someone, so someone in the chat said, I want to make my own game. Great. Right. Ah, but, but, and there you go. And you think you can do it and that's good. And you need to keep that mindset. And, and the thing is, it's like, ah, I really want to do this thing, but I'm not motivated. Okay. Well, do you really want to do that thing? Right. And it's like, you know, the, the way that I look at it, because like sometimes like like this week, this week was so tough for whatever reason. It was just hard. And, you know, I, I basically like I, I look at it and I say, man, you know, it's like imagine that you you want to restore a car and, and you find this car in the woods and you pull it like into your garage and you get a salvage title and you take it apart and you learn to like restore all the rust and, and like you learn to source these parts and you meet all these cool people and like all this other stuff. And, you know, and like three years pass and, and like this is when you're in the weeds and you go out into your garage to take out the trash or something and you look at this car and there's just all these parts and they're just so spread out. And, um, and, and it's just, it's crazy. And you look at it and you're like, man, I've been busting my butt on this thing that I really want to do. I've been busting my butt and I am just so far from the goal. I'm just so far from it. And, and you just look at all these parts and you say, man, you know what? I have an out. Like I could just sell all these parts and, and just, just get rid of this project. And like I have an out, I can break even. Like, I don't have to do this anymore. But the, the problem with that is, and, and here's the thing, it's that by chasing an impossible dream, your life will be so much more interesting than if you sat around and did nothing. It doesn't matter what the dream is. It could be learning to run a 5k it could be you know learning to cook really good it could it could be anything you know it could be anything um and so like that's just just my mindset because you know it's like and i'm guilty of it like i watch plenty of tv and play games and all this other stuff but it's like like your life can be more interesting than you know those those types of shows or whatever um, like you, you can have a life as cool as those things. And, and, and that, that's kind of like my mentality, you know, it's, you know, definitely, you know, probably a bit of an extroverted view of the world or whatever, but I'm a very introverted person these days, but you know, like whenever I'm in just like a, a stump and like, I just want to do something or I want to make good art or, or whatever, I just, I, that's how I think. And like, that's how I, I build, you know, all this stuff. And, and I use those analogies for me. <laughs> And, uh, and, you know, by the way, I am really thankful that there's still like 150 people at least listening to my rant here, you know, because, you know, this is, this is, this is how I operate. And I just, I wanted to show people like who I am and like just the difficulty behind it. And because I don't think that enough people are vulnerable, you know, I, I want to set an example and, you know, with, with all the stuff that happens these days, it's just. You know, it's, I don't know, people, they feel clammed up, you know, and they bottle everything in. And I, I don't want to. You know, I can't. <laughs> you know, that's why I'm in like two therapy groups and stuff. Because it's hard. You know, COVID and stuff. You know, it's just, there's a lot of loss in my family and stuff on that. And it's like, like it sucks and I have to keep going. 
And it's just, you know, I don't have people, they don't talk about it. And like, you know, one day I'm going to start something with um, mental health in the game industry and probably in film too. I bet they could use it. You know, it's like, you know, companies, they don't give a fuck. They don't care. They just don't give a shit. And, um, you know, like I said, but I do. And it's like, if I can make a lot of money and put that money to good use in like a nonprofit or something and, and like try and, you know, sponsor it or whatever, you know, I'd love to, I'd love to, you know, and it's just like, you know, artists, they're treated like shit <laughs> and I don't want them to. And like, if, if the difference that I can make in our industry is when people open the software and they just go, holy shit, this is so fucking cool. Then like I won <laughs> And that's it. And it is selfish of me. I want to win. I am a selfish person. But through my selfishness, I think that I can be selfless. And that's what Jenga effects is. And somebody asked what Jenga effects means. It has nothing to do with the blocks that you stack on each other. Jenga effects is from 2006. I randomly just typed some shit on my keyboard. And it said Jenga Loanth. And then people started calling me Jenga in the modding community. And somebody said, you know what, maybe you should be Jenga FX. And I said, that's pretty catchy. And I never changed my Steam name to that, but I, it stuck with me. And I knew that, that was going to be my company's name. And so that's kind of how I how I did stuff. And, and that's how Jenga FX came about. It was just some random stuff on a keyboard in 2006. And it kind of morphed into to this name. I'm not very good at names, as you can tell. Jenga FX and... Scenery gen and liquid gen and ember gen and vector ray gen and all this other stuff. It's just, ah, but it's cool. It makes us whatever, you know, it makes us unique. And, you know, I just, I've wanted to do this stream for a long time. I wanted to do it for a long time. I'm just, I'm just a human. And, like, I kind of have a platform to talk. And so, to my 170 people that watched it, I'm thankful. So, yeah, it's kind of my, my rant, you know, that's, that's how we started and, and how we did stuff and, you know, how much I, I care about people and whatever. And, uh, I guess I'll share my favorite quote, which is, and thus history repeats itself and happy is he who by listening to the experiences of others avoids the rocks and shoals on which so many have been wrecked. If you can go through life and listen to the experiences of others. Ah, this per this place does crunch. Ah, doing this sucks. Or whatever. Whatever it happens to be. Maybe listen. You know, history repeats itself. And so, I'm trying to rewrite history in our industry. And if I can just make a little bit of change, I will be on my deathbed very happy that's all i want i just want to be happy when i die and so and make sure that like i didn't have any regrets about anything and i want to make sure that like i fulfill my mission and 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 you know what like visual effects tools and all this other stuff like i don't know how much of a big impact it makes on people it's not solving the water crisis or anything like that but this is the best i can do and it's what i have to offer and it's where my skills are. And it's just, it is what it is. So, you know, so that's who I am. This is me, Mr. Vulnerable, <laughs> you know, in some ways, Mr. Hurt, but that's okay. I'm working on it. So anyway, thank you for watching and listening. I know that this is just, fucking weird and that people don't do this and maybe it's because i'll be on the headlines tomorrow on 80 level jenga effect ceo has a mental fucking breakdown <laughs> that'd be funny but it's not a mental breakdown it's just who i am you know it's just who i am i love people and i care 
A lot. I care. And I'm going to win. <laughs> We're going to win. Real time is going to be number one. And I'm not going to stop until we replace every single fucking tool in our industry. And make it so awesome to use. And just dominate. Because I'm here to win. I am here to fucking rock it. And I am thankful for your support. Your money goes to good use. And if anybody knows a charity that we can work with, you know, in the future or whatever, let me know. I don't know what kind of things are going out there in the industry with mental health and stuff. I'm, I'm out of the loop. You know, I'm focused on my stuff. But if anybody knows, email me. I want to see what we can do. So, anyway, you know, life's hard. Business is hard. But whatever. Fuck it. I'm going to win. My team's going to win. We're going to win. Everybody who uses our software is going to win. This is going to be cool. So, that's it. You know, let me uh, let me look through the chat. I know I've seen it just blowing up on the side. You know, I've seen lots of hearts and whatever. Um, and I'm thankful for all the support, you know, thank you for sticking here and, and listening. And if you think I'm crazy, I don't care. I'm just me. So, you know, I've never seen this done before and it was a big gamble, but I just, I wanted to do it. So I hope you guys liked it. You know, I don't think that every other stream is going to be like this. I might not do it again because it takes a lot out of me, but I just, I wanted to, um, you know, I just want to change people's lives. And this is the way that I know how. So I'm kind of ranting at this point, but that's that's kind of the story of Jenga Effects. That's how we started. And and it's, it's very condensed. And there are like a lot of things that happened in between there. But, you know, we, we hired some really good people. And, and you know, our users supported us and, and gave us their hard-earned cash. And we put it to good use. And we try and make technical innovations. And and we just have a burning desire to win. And, you know, as some of our employees have written, our team in the chat have written, like, this is the best company they've ever worked for. And, like, my team, they write to me that, like, this is their dream. They're living it. And and it's just so cool. You know, I don't have worries about my team leaving. And if they do leave, then, like, I want to support them in that. And, like, you know, support that journey to wherever else they go. But, you know, like, I don't want them to leave. Like, we're a family, and I love it to death, and I love our customers. And by the way, if you've gotten a handwritten note from me, I hope you've got it. <laughs> we're going through every annual indie order that we have and sending a handwritten card to everybody as a thank you. And so I know that I've been emailed by some people saying, hey, I got the card and didn't expect it, and so... Yeah, so if you got a card and you're in the chat, let me know. I want to know if it made it to you. I need to check my P.O. box and see how many got returned. But, you know, we're spending a lot of money to just send a thank you card because I fucking care. And I am thankful. And I can't express it enough. So, anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. So, let me just look at the chat and see if there's anything else I want to touch on. Oh, my boogers are coming out. Oh. So, let's see. I'm not stupid. That's good to hear. Can't confirm it's a dream job. Vulnerable as predicted. Uh, you're a winner. Uh, you need to rest and restore. I do. I do take some good rest time. Um, please don't sell Jenga effects. Well, I haven't yet. Um, you know, what you guys are doing is the future. I can see you guys becoming a powerhouse on your own. I hope so. I want to be big. I want to be a big company. And that way I can change more people's lives. More money means more reach. Um, you know, you have all the support. Thank you. Uh, the Jenga FX Discord has exploded over the years. It's looking great. I don't know how you find the time. <laughs> Neither do I. Um, maybe you should start a podcast. Maybe. Um, you know, running a company is really hard. I gave up and started thinking I'm not a good manager. I'm really glad, Nick, that you had success 
you're my hero. Thanks. If I can be somebody's hero, that makes me feel good. Um, just people expressing thanks. Uh, Geoff has to run. I'm glad you joined. Uh, you know, shout out to Geoff. He he really helped kickstart Jenga FX, and he didn't even know it. Um, you know, more people having to leave, but saying they have to. Awesome introspection. You know, I think when people say they aren't motivated, it's because they don't know where to start. That's true. That's true. You know, just you just have to pick the first step, one foot in front of the other, even if it's hard. Um, you know, yeah, you can keep it and build yourself the way you want and not let big industry monetize it too much like some on the market. Yeah, you know, you know, it might be weird to say, like, I like subscriptions and whatever, and it, it makes money, but, you know, we also want to offer permanent licenses, and we do. And our subscription stuff is for maintenance, and I feel like that's, like, the best, you know, mid-ground hybrid. And, like, you don't even have to auto-renew if you don't want to, but you can own our software forever. Um, and, and you get locked to the, the last version that you would have had access to if you paid. So, so yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just reading a lot of stuff, you know, lots of thank yous and stuff. And, and that really, really makes me, um, happy. And most wholesome stream. Um, so yeah. Cool. <laughs> You're crazy and I like it. Oh, all right. Some people say I'm not crazy. Some people say I am. All right. Um, you know, all the best to the whole team. My card made it to me. Thank you very much. Awesome. I'm glad you got it. Cool. Well, that's it. That's me. That's our team. That's our story. And if you missed everything, look back at the awesome updates that we had on our software. There was a lot of cool stuff. And so, anyway, that's that's everything. Yeah, I don't have anything else to say. I've said it all. So, goodbye. Thank you for tuning in. I'm really happy that 150 people stayed to, to listen. And hopefully many thousands more watch it after it's up. So, whew. That was a big unloading. I've needed that. I'm ready to win. I'm ready to continue. Watch out for 1.0. A few months, hopefully. And that'll be it. You know, I'm I'm ready. So, we're going to do it. Nick at JangaFX.com. Email me if you need to. Bye for now.